If you have always wondered if something is divisible by seven or 11, this is the video where we're gonna show you how to do it, all right? We're gonna tell you the divisibility rule for seven, for 11, and then also if you need a different number, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, or 10, I did that in this video you can find up there in that card. Uh, so maybe that's something that you need. Otherwise, there are timestamps in our video player down below. You can jump to seven, jump to 11, whichever one you need. Let's get into it. The reason why I made a separate divisibility check for seven and 11 in this video, not put in my other videos, because their rules are super weird. Check it out, it says take all the digits except the last digit to make a new number. Subtract two times that last digit, and if then that is divisible by seven, then so is the whole thing. What is that talking about? So if we look here, if I take all the digits except for my last one, in this case, that'd be just the seven and the four. All right, then I have to subtract two times my last digit, so two times nine in this case. All right, and then if I get an answer that is divisible by seven, then the whole thing will be divisible by seven. So in this case, I have 74 minus 18. 74 minus 18 is 56. 56 is divisible by seven. That's try to get down to something that you know, right? And then once you get that, then you can say yes or no, whether the whole thing is divisible by seven. Let's try a little bit of a bigger one, this time 2,477. All right, so again, take my first few digits here, except for the last one, subtract two times that last digit, and this is gonna be uh, 247 minus 14, and that would be what, 233? Okay, if you're still not sure, you can do it again. All right, so here in this case, I'm gonna take 23 now, um, and subtract two times my last digit. Well, that'd be subtracting six, which is 17. And I know 17 is not divisible by seven, so the whole thing will not be divisible by seven. All right, that one does not work. All right, number three says 58,968. Let's try the same thing, try to go a little bit faster this time. So five, eight, nine, six, minus two times my last digit here is gonna be 16. Um, so that would leave me with five, eight, and then 96 minus 16 is 80. Okay, and then whenever it ends in a zero, you kind of get a, a free step here, right? It's gonna be five, eight, eight minus two times zero. All right, so that's not gonna change this number at all. It's still 588. All right, and then try it one more time. Still not quite sure if this would work yet. So it's gonna be uh, 58 minus 16. 58 minus 16, of course, is 42. Is 42 divisible by seven? Absolutely it is, all right? So this will also be divisible by seven. All right, so the divisibility rule for 11 says this. If the sum of the even place digits minus the sum of the odd place digits equals zero or is also divisible by 11, then so is the whole number, okay? So what I mean by even and odd digits here is if you think this one has six digits, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so this is gonna be even, 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 and then odd, odd, odd. So if I add up those even places, we have eight plus four is 12, plus six is 18. So that's the evens minus the odds. Well, five and five is uh, 10, 10 plus nine is 19. All right, 18 minus 19 gives you a negative one. Negative one is not divisible by 11, and it's also not zero. So the whole thing is not going to be divisible by 11. Uh, what about this one? This is one that I know already is divisible by 11. Let's see if the rule works for it, okay? So here, if I add up the, the even places, one plus two is three, minus two plus one is also three. Well, this gives me a zero. So since that ends, or since it equals zero, then that is part of the rule that says this will equal, or is divisible by 11, I should say. Okay, last one. This is one I just uh, kind of made up. Let's, let's see here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is an odd number of digits to start with, which means we're going to have odd, 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 even, even, even. Let's see if four versus three matters when we're, uh, when we're doing this. So if I add up the evens first, again, that's my ones that are going down. This would be six plus nine is 15. 15 plus two is 17. Okay. Minus then the odd ones. There's four of these. One and seven is eight. 9, and then 9 plus 8 is also 17, okay? So again, since that equals 0, this big long number, 1,679,128, is divisible by 11, all right? So, did you know either of those two? Let me know in the comments down below if you did, and if you didn't, if you learned something, give me a thumbs up, all right? That really helps me, and I can make more of these videos like this in the future for you, all right? And then also, if you haven't checked yet, this video will tell you all that you need to know about dividing two, three, four, five, six, not seven, since that's what we just did, eight, nine, and 10, all right? Check that one out.